Hello and welcome back. Uh, this is probably the most important thing you can learn about airbrushing and that is how to clean your airbrush. Um, most of the problems that you're going to encounter with your airbrush have to do with uh, a dirty airbrush. And if you know how to properly clean it, you will solve you know, 90% of those problems. Uh, the thing to remember is that even when you think it's clean, there's always the possibility that there's something stuck in there. Uh, I can't tell you how many times I've uh, helped somebody out and you know they were saying that I, I have a problem with my airbrush. And I said, well, did you clean it? And they said, yes. And I was like, no, 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 you, did you really clean it out thoroughly? And it's like, oh, yes, yes, I cleaned it out. And then, you know, I would show them how to really clean the airbrush. And they're like, oh, well, no, I guess I didn't really clean it out. And that's the thing, is if you don't uh, thoroughly clean the airbrush, then it's not going to be clean and it won't necessarily perform the way you want it to perform. So let's just get to it, though. And obviously, the first thing you're going to want to do, and by the way, this one hasn't been cleaned in a, in a while. I, I normally do a, uh, a spray through, which is when you just um, uh, put your cleaner in the uh, in the reservoir and just spray it through. Uh, I usually use a brush to uh, clean out the reservoir when I do that process. Uh, clean and then dump, not clean and spray through because you don't want uh, all the little particles to get jammed up inside. So just important thing when you're doing, you know, just swapping colors and you're cleaning out your res reservoir, make sure you dump out the cleaner. You don't try and spray it through. All right, so, but this is gonna be a thorough cleaning. So I'm gonna take the whole thing apart. I'm gonna start with the back here and the crown and the tip cover. By the way, this piece here has a tendency uh, to get stuff inside of it, and so don't ignore that. Don't ignore that piece when it comes to cleaning. Uh, this airbrush, this is my CMB, by the way, and uh, it has a tool for removing the tip. Uh, and apparently I still need to use that. These are super, super delicate, so um, be very careful with them. I'm just setting all these parts off to the side. Now I'm going to loosen the nut back here. Now I don't pull the, the needle out from the back. I like to push it forward and draw it through. And the reason for that is because I don't want to pull, because the, the needle builds up paint. And when you draw it back, you can uh, draw it in farther into the airbrush, the paint, and I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to pull it out through the front. And I'm going to leave this whole assembly in for now. Uh, normally, you really shouldn't need to remove that because all of the paint is in this area here. All right. Uh, I have these brushes uh, that are fantastic for airbrush cleaning. Uh, you can get them for a few bucks on eBay. These were actually given to me by somebody. I'd never used these before. I used to just use uh, pipe cleaners, which are really too big for most of what you're gonna do. Uh, they're good for cleaning out this area, but not for getting into here, not for getting into the tip. Uh, and then I also use toothpicks that I will shave down to whatever size I need to really get into fine areas. But So what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm just going to put a little cleaner in there and that's just going to get all over my uh, desktop, but that's okay. Let's get that out of there. Oh, that one's too big. Uh, yeah, let's go with this size. So this should knock free all of, oh, 
and you can even see some there. I'm going to get I get the brush to pull that out. I really want to make sure that that's thoroughly clean. This is actually I was expecting this part to be dirtier than it is. It's almost disappointing <laughs> because I wanted you to be able to see. Uh, what a dirty airbrush looks like. I guess I've been too uh, conscientious with my cleaning. Alright, so I've got that. Um, I do like to, so I'll cap the end of this with my finger. And again, I'm, I'm just going to clean out the inside of the reservoir here. dump that. And a little bit more. Be liberal with your cleaner. You can never use too much. Alright. Alright, that looks good. Now, this has a wide opening here so we can run the brush into it on the edge but it doesn't go all the way in because uh, you know it's got the small hole at the front so really what I want to do is just get the toothpick around inside of there you can kind of see that it's picked up a little bit of a uh, little bit of paint Just make sure that the wood of the toothpick is is uh, rubbing against the entire inside of this piece, and yeah, you can still see that it's it's still picking up picking up a little paint. There we will. that up. Uh, you could also, if you have one, uh, they have they make little sonic cleaners, and you could just take all these pieces, dump them in that, uh, put some cleaner in it, and let it sit for an hour. Um, I have never had one, and uh, we don't have that kind of time, so uh, I will also twist up paper towel get in there. And yeah, that look, looks like we're good there. Alright, the crown tip definitely builds up paint on the edges. Oh, hold on, let's see. It's all slippery. Alright, I don't know if you can see it, but right in there. This is why I don't use this thing normally, because it just collects paint. It's a paint collector. And uh, although I don't normally use it, I do occasionally use it, so it's always a good thing to keep it clean, because the more paint that's on there, the more paint it collects, and eventually it's going to uh, spray a little drop right onto your work surface, whatever you're painting. Look at all the crap on there. You know what? I think this is a good use of one of the larger brushes. Perfect. Look at that. Clean that shit right off of there. Still slippery. Good. All right, and then this thing is freaking tiny. Uh, I do have this super fine brush that will get into the end here, and don't want to push.
push it on too hard because you don't want to try and force it through the other end and misshape your your uh, tip. So that's just going to be a little bit, but if I really want to be sure, there's a couple of things I can do. One is I can take an X-Acto and sharpen a toothpick. Oh, this isn't working. <laughs> um, yeah, there we go. You get the idea anyway. Um, sharpen a toothpick and get that in there, and the wood is really nice for picking up the excess paint. Um, the other thing you can do is actually use the needle and just sort of run it up the side and then turn and then run it up the side and then turn and just so that's going to knock the paint free. I'm going to put a little but anything that you can use to get into there carefully and free any paint that might be in there. But normally I, I take some time and really shave down a, a fine piece of, uh, of toothpick to get in there. It's the best way to do it. And you can do the same thing, uh, you know, if, if there seems to be something stubborn in here as you shave down that toothpick and make something that'll fit into that hole. Um, because the wood is really good at picking that up and it, it won't leave anything behind. You know, part of the problem with using uh, uh, the old style pipe cleaners is that um, they will leave little bits of uh, fuzz back in your airbrush and clog the whole thing up and it's just, it's awful and you don't want that to happen. Uh, and then the needle. The needle is pretty simple. Uh, you just it the, the paint will come right off of it if you uh, put some cleaner on a paper towel or a rag or something, and then just pull it through. And that looks good. And then we just need to put it all back together. So, uh, again, I go front to back here. Oh. There we go. Had to depress the trigger slightly to get it in there. Push that back. Now leave a little bit there. A little bit of the needle showing and the reason is so that when I place the tip it will help guide it into place otherwise it's very easy to screw this up and cross thread And then I'm going to tighten that down. And you don't, this just is to make it snug. You don't want to jam it. So essentially, as soon as it stops, you feel it stop, give it just a slight bit of pressure, and that's it. And it's done. Now, to bring the needle uh, to its proper place, it's kind of the same thing. I push it forward until it stops and just the barest amount of pressure and then you tighten the nut at the back um, and this can go on finger tight no tools and then the uh, and the crown Alright, everything seems to be functional.
optional here. That goes on. And you're done. That's it. Airbrush is clean. You're ready to spray. Thanks for watching.